Okay, guys, it is officially week uh, 22. 22, 21 is out of the books. 22 is here, and I am leaving from my family's restaurant. Let me explain. I had to go uh, change some things. Okay, I, I did not see that guy. Anyway, I had to change some things, and um, yeah, this guy crossing the, this guy on the sidewalk. Every time I exit or like a little back area parking area i never see this people walk down that sidewalk it's crazy it's like i'm just always like distracted which is not good because eventually i'm gonna fucking hit someone if i keep doing that shit anyway <laughs> um what's going on is i had to change some things i should have done last night but i had an issue with the usb where i had the wrong files on it I had to go back home add it to it come here wake up like fucking almost 6 30 6 45 make sure you get eight hours of sleep last night tried got around seven something but i was aiming for eight but can sleep on the time i wanted to sleep but it's fine it's currently 808 i wanted to be in my uh, home not home gym sorry be at my local gym 815 minimum but it looks like i'm gonna be there like 820 which is unfortunate but it is what it is because i wanted a little extra time to warm up because me and my good friend tyler are gonna hit the bench um i want to bench with him probably share the same bench and all that good stuff share some of the insight i've learned in my technique and hopefully he can implement it in his and uh just yeah um learning more about my grip width on the on the barbell on bench press which is something i used to not think of but now it's like i need to go a little wider and like it makes me feel more, feel more stronger a little bit more control i failed 200 pound bench at my home with my dad but then i like i went in my basement and i i got a wider grip and like i did some partials and like you know like decrease the range of motion because I was by myself most water just like just just to feel the bar to just to feel the bar and like I felt that like a little wider I felt a little easier but I don't want to commit to a full rep because I had no spotter and that would be stupid so I just just felt it out and I said okay I'm going to attempt this try this stuff out I'm also going to be trying a double pause on the bench a double pause is basically a pause on the bottom and a second pause where you normally get stuck this is gonna help me break out of any current plateaus I have, hopefully in my current PR. I had my uh, CrossFit coach uh, for Olympic lifting reach out to me and asking about maxes if I've attempted anything on the snatch with Meaninger. I said I have not attempted because I've just been strictly focusing on technique. Uh, but right now I can say 155 is my max jerk press and 135 was my last proper you know like i could i could clean a little bit more than 135 but honestly when i hit when i hit a plate everything gets a little shaky there so i've been just staying around 25 35 so 105 115 on each side as a max i just like practice my form a little bit better and keeping it there um trying to hit that full extension on the clean uh and that's been that I, my back squat and front squat have increased though I can do two plates, 225 on a front squat for a double, and I can do 280 pounds on a back squat for a single, but I can do 275 on a back squat for a triple. I believe it was 275 for a triple, if I remember correctly. But uh, I'll have to go back to my TikTok and find out because I posted it there. So I think we might be able to make it at my, at my gym 815, to be honest. The traffic is not bad. That's the one thing I've noticed while driving this early out, like, it's just like traffic is just really good like i have to worry about anything so with that being said i'm just gonna head there we got a chest day and another day to improve with the bench i my pre-workout on me all that stuff drinking it for myself to drink it well in advance this time so this time it will be perfectly 15 minutes after i finish this to start benching I wish the pre-workout should start kicking in a little bit better. And I'm, I'm only half scooping. Same with my pump and my pre, uh, pump and pre just half scooping it. I'm not going for full scoops anymore. I feel like my body already gets enough from half scoop to the point where I go full scoop. I just like pee a lot and it just, I'm not using it. So something I learned in my local gym, not my local gym, sorry, I learned about going to the gym in general is that you don't need all the pre and pump you think you need. Sometimes you only need half of what you're taking especially if you're already peeing a lot, because it means your body's not using a lot of it. So 
like max IP like twice one at the end of my session and maybe one in the middle but that's it you know but I used to pee like a lot near the end of my session when I had like a full scoop um okay also it's because caffeine and pre-workout lasts in your body a lot longer than people think it's not just the two hours you work out it could be like four or five hours later after the thought after the fact so I have two minutes to be the ready 15. It's definitely possible. There's no, no traffic, like I said, down the street to get there. I want to do my warm up. And I always get a little anxious before doing my, my, my major compounds against beef in general. And a lot of it is, I think the anxiousness comes from me wanting to hit numbers, but realizing I might not hit the numbers for the sit reps I think I might hit. Especially like last week, I thought 150 for 12 was gonna be easy. Turns out I hit 11 reps and 12, like, I, I like barely got 11, so like 12 was like out of the question. Um, but I wanted to go for 14 reps because I'm trying to go for long for more reps, especially when I was doing other exercises. And I did do, I did 15, I did 15 back squats at 225. That was my most impressive number for me, but it was also one that made me feel the most sore over the next few days. Um, which means I've been fucking training really hard from just squats alone, Jesus, you know? And then we do, like, front, the, the, no, yeah, we do front squats, but, like, we do, like, RDLs really start fucking, really start feeling, like, my hamstrings burning, like, the day after, it's crazy. I don't feel it instantly, but the day after, I feel, like, crazy. It's wild. Got another message back from my coach. Currently 8.14, one minute, and I'm not gonna be there in a minute exact. But if I can at least be dressed up, ready to go, ready to warm up by 8.20, I can be at the bench by 8.30, which is great. So, yep. Yeah. Currently 8.15. And I'm like a minute away, so I was almost, almost ready. I think I just was held back a little bit of my restaurant. I could have been done a little quicker, but it is what it is. Hopefully, everything I did, I did correctly. And, yeah. AC on a little bit, so I'm really starting to feel it, the humidity. Okay, I am two other sections away from my gym, so probably gonna end this part of the vlog here, catch you guys post chest day, and I'm uploading this week's vlog a, a day later, but it is what it is, or last week's vlog I should say. So that being said, see you guys post chest day. Okay, guys, we officially are on shoulder day, and this day is pretty brutal, going to be honest. So, in terms of training, very intense. In terms of home situation, um, uh, I had a brother, he got a dog, and it's a smaller, like, some kind of uh, Rottweiler mix of a dog. Um, which doesn't really concern me too much. Concern me is we have another dog, and he just straight up, like, soils himself everywhere whenever if someone new's in the house just a load of bullshit so you know they got the diaper on him now which is great um <laughs> they had to put a fucking diapers on him now because he's just he's just letting him go just like ripping it 24 7 like pisses i'm talking about and it's kind of like thank god like they did something about it because like there's only so many times i can walk that dog because i'm busy throughout the entire day and it you know my sister's dog right so they my sister and brother both got dogs. You know, it's not a responsibility that I can personally foster myself, which is why I don't bring any kind of animal to my house because I can't foster that responsibility. Um, but they basically can. I, yeah, I'm assuming, I'm hoping. I only asked them to close um, 
we have a basement, but I do a lot of, you know, other projects down there and I asked them to close that door and occasionally that door becomes open. So I got a border off, you know, with, um, border off with cardboard, uh, my area. So animals, you know, just kind of just stay the other side, you know, because I had a situation where I made something for a convention and it totally just got pissed all over. It was really upsetting. I had to wash it out, but it's just still not the same, you know? So anyway, I mean, I got to like set up a proper station down there. It's like super rough. Uh, but going back to today, um, after the shoulder day, I haven't talked about it. So we got ollie lifting training. So I got snatches and cleans and I, you know, I haven't even started drinking my pre-work yet. I should be, but I'm not for some reason. Okay, we'll put this explore on me. It doesn't. So today's breakfast was a pretty big uh, protein oatmeal. We had a thousand calories in that. Uh, th one third of it being from uh, peanut butter uh, and then I got you know the oatmeal and uh, I had two scopes that uh, scopes scoops of protein got this new like fucking uh, what's the what's the company called uh, unlimited pharma uh, they're for, for uh, I think it's pronounced they're delicious or something it's based on the Ferrero Rocher chocolate and the taste is definitely there. And I did this thing where I tried putting this in this bottle, actually, my hand over here. Try like mixing it with hot oat milk and just mixing it. And it tastes amazing, but probably never doing this bottle again because it just exploded like twice out of the straw. That's the one thing I don't like about this bottle. I'd probably make it in my other bottle or probably just get a shaker, to be honest. Or like, I don't know, like one of those fancy Gymshark ones I keep seeing ads for. I might cave in and buy that one day. I think it's theirs. I don't know. Anyway, um, so we're here. We've got shoulder day. It's a little later than normal, but I don't work work till the evening. So after this, gonna go home, do some more prepping for some stuff. Uh, and I don't know why my car is giving off alarms, but uh, yeah, big day. And also, I got more snatch and jerk pressing tonight after all is said and done. So. You know, let's just go get it, keep you guys updated along the way. Okay guys, it is officially the end of this week and overall week was pretty fun, pretty solid, I enjoyed it. I got to go to a final convention and I won't be going to another one until, okay, maybe there's one in October, I have no fucking clue. It's like one in October maybe and then after that it's like fucking january there might be one and then february there's a big one i'm going to so i gotta plan that shit out but let's talk about today's session so normally on sundays i deadlift and then on you know and then we did the whole sumo and variation thing and we did variations on other days of the same you know body part like you know we did bench one day, we did bench variations in the night, so on and so forth, but with my interest shifting into weightlifting, I am essentially changing how I do things, particularly, I'm going to get more, more recovery within this week as I won't be going in the evening for any heavy lifting, but more so for practicing technique, being more technical with my work as I focus on honing my skills more in the clean and jerk and snatch later in the evening I'm gonna go back to that for a bit um, but beyond that uh, we are probably going to not deadlift but instead focus more on clean pulls and snatch pulls that's gonna be my main emphasis on today after a forearm and grip training so forearm and grip training still happens I still value those aspects in my lifts 
having a good grip is important for the heavier weights as I choose not to use straps and chalk I'm not using as much anymore unless it's like a top set heaviest deadlift um, but beyond that these are two we're working on um, well, I remember I did a 265 snatch pull for a single that was last week um, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna like I'm gonna like push near max see how much I can go I know I can clean pull two plates for reps very easily and I'm probably going to at most in my lifetime I mean the more you can clean pull the better it's for you know but it's not gonna be anything as we're gonna load like on my deadlifts probably I mean it probably probably will to be honest load them very good because I, I think it's like the more you know the more you can do each part of the part of the exercise right clean trick like the, the pulling part the stronger pull you have the more better you'll be off the floor and then vice versa in the overhead position and the gym is quiet as fuck I think there's only like 10 cars here it's only like parking lots busier it's 8 15 and the parking lot is dead guys that's kind of a good sign for me it means i'll have to you know it'd be super easy finding a platform and keeping it uh oh yeah they are pretty good i'm gonna park all the way at the back get some extra walking going on you know walk a little bit more and beyond that um yeah i'm still gonna be with my bodybuilding coach still gonna be bodybuilding but more so on an emphasis of strictly stimulating muscle growth and looking to gain strength as we are in a strength program but i'm also going to be in a weightlifting program for six weeks starting september 5th and that's going to be exciting going to get to train twice as my coach said it's gym paradise literally and i i love it so that being said uh, this going to be the last one I'll see you guys in. I forgot to up, not upload, but like record like half of this. I don't think I got a leg day because I'm with my brother and I didn't record a vlog. And I don't think I got shoulder, I, I, I don't think I got back day, but I got shoulder day. And I don't know, kind of a mess this week. But starting up next week, especially in September, we're going to have some exciting things coming up. So I'll keep you guys updated on that.